there will emerge, in effect, a collective leadership made up of the key people in the various institutions of the regime. Um, the Kim family complex, to start with, the military, which is probably the most important institution, uh, the party, the government administration, intelligence agencies, security agencies, all of these have a stake in what's going to happen and the, their key people will try to work together uh, in the name of Kim Jong-il's son, Kim Jong-un, but really they will be running the show. If there is a decision to reform the internal system and, and open up to the outside world, then I would see um, uh, improvement uh, in relations with the United States, with South Korea, and so on. Um, but that is a tough decision to make because it requires, in effect, um, repudiating much of what Kim Jong-il stood for. And if you're going to rule in the name of his son, it's even harder. In the short term, we have to be quite vigilant um, because there may be a temptation on North Korea's part to take some actions to show that it's still powerful, that it still has resolve, um, and whether this would be a missile test, a nuclear test, a provocation with conventional forces, uh, nobody knows. But it's possible. Uh, there's a certain logic to doing it. And so we and our South Korean allies have to be on guard. Um, while we need to be ready, we shouldn't be tempted to overreact. Um, we shouldn't be tempted to uh, create fear in North Korea during what is already a fearful time. Um, if uh, the immediate transition occurs and there is a stable um, transition um, longer term, um, we may have to continue coping with a, uh, a nuclear North Korea that remains isolated uh, for some time to come.